Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. If you're anything like me, you love extreme sports. Be it winter sports like skiing or snowboarding or other summer sports like this or other extreme activities like this one. Anyways, I have the perfect simple makeup and skincare solution to stand. <laughs> Thank you for sitting through that and uh, indulging me. I just haven't had a good sc green screen moment in a very long time. Um, so thanks for sitting through that. You guys know how into extreme sports I am. Not well, some, some, some. I like to go in the dune buggy and the quad and you know, things that don't include cold weather and falling from high, high, high heights. Welcome to today's video. Um, I've been asking you guys on Instagram stories what you wanted me to review. We've got some new collections coming out, so I chose one. And by the time that you are reading this right now, reading this, do I need to go back to bed? Let's try that again. By the time that you are watching this video, before we get to the video, I wanna thank Dermalogica for partnering with me on this video. Um, one, uh, the reason why I kinda wanted to do this fun green screen thing is because one of the products I'm gonna introduce you guys to today really helps um, hydrate your skin uh, during extreme sports, before, after, both. Um, and with cold weather, it's very hydrating and it's been so freaking cold in San Diego right now. So I've been like using this as a holy grail product lately. This is the Redness Relief Essence by Dermalogica. And this comes in a couple different sizes. So if you don't want a giant thing or you want a travel size to take with you, because I promise you're gonna wanna take it with you once you try it, um, you've got a couple options there. So the Redness Relief essence is super awesome. You're going to want to probably want the travel size after you try it. I've been using it to help my skin because I have super, like my skin is super sensitive and like the littlest thing can like set it off and make it red and whatever. So I've been helping combat that the past few months now with um, this product. And basically what it does is it's super hydrating for really, really harsh weather, whether you're out in the snow or it's just cold where you're at. Um, it helps really lock in moisture and it helps reduce your skin sensitivity over time by using it twice a day. Um, so it's basically like just a really strong, awesome, hydrating serum. It's also got licorice root extract in it, which helps soothe your skin after harsh weather, extreme sports that you may or may not do or be good at like me. So we're gonna put this on first and foremost. It's really lightweight, even though it is a really awesome serum. So I should have left the cap on. You're supposed to shake this first. So what you wanna do is shake it up. And then you're going to, oh, oh, it smells so good. It smells like essential oils. You're just going to pat this into your skin. You can add this to your neck and chest area too if you tend to get red and irritated there as well. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a spa. This stuff smells so freaking good. I love that there's a product for red skin from Dermalogica because as you guys know, Dermalogica is like one of my favorite go-to skincare brands. They know what they are doing, but I have always had super sensitive skin. Um, and so this has been helping. I've actually noticed a difference. Like my skin doesn't get quite as red anymore. Um, and I just, I like to put this on in the morning and at night, like before I go to the gym, like I'll wash my face and I'll put this it on. This is also part of their ultra calming line. So this works really, really well and synergistically with everything in that line. So if you do already have products from that line, you got a new family member coming in. She coming in hot. Next, because it is winter and the weather has been freaking insane in San Diego, I'm gonna be using the Intensive Moisture Balance. This stuff, as I mentioned in a previous video, actually penetrates nine layers deep of your skin. So I've been using this stuff like crazy. I put it on my neck, my hands, so those don't get old and wrinkly. Um, and I put it on my neck as well. I'm gonna let this soak in for a minute and I'm just gonna put my foundation on. This is not really part of the review, but um, today we're gonna be reviewing the Rebel Rose makeup collection by Wet n Wild. I got two collections from Wet n Wild within like the same like week. And I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see. You wanted to see Rebel Rose, so that's what we're doing today. I'm giving you what you want. Um, they do have a couple skincare items in this collection, but I am not going to focus on those today because I just, 
I love Wet n Wild, but I just personally wouldn't buy my skincare from Wet n Wild. I feel like that's like almost going to dick sporting goods for like wall art. Like it just, you just, I feel like like kind of stay in your lane a little more. Like you, you do great makeup. So I'm gonna focus on the makeup today because that's what I'm here for. So we will go through that after I put on my foundation. Today I'm gonna be using the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. I have been finding myself grabbing this for the past, like since I got it. Um, I just, I just like it a lot. Since this is a simple look, I am not going crazy with the eyes. So I'm just gonna put a pretty light layer of full coverage foundation on first and foremost because this is you know a simple quick makeup look that shouldn't take you like more than 15 20 minutes tops depending on how slow you are at blending you know who you are out there in the back so typically I'll build up my foundation if I'm not getting the coverage that I want, but today what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, add extra foundation in areas that I feel need a little extra coverage, like right here, right here, right here. I just got off my period, so my skin is like rebelling against my life right now. Once I lean off frame and grab what I need, I'm going to be taking what's left over of my foundation and just using this as concealer. I do this often when I'm in a hurry um, to do my makeup or if I just wanna do kind of a simple look because I always feel like the more products I start to grab when I'm gonna do a simple look, I'm like, all right, well, I'll just grab a little bit of cream contour, this, that, and the other, and then like, or glitter, like a glitter liner or something. And then by the end of it, I look like a freaking drag queen, which I'm totally not against, but it's there, there's a time and a place, ladies and gentlemen. For simplistic makeup and quick and easy makeup, um, one thing I do not skip for myself is brows, and this would actually be a lot faster if your girl had more eyebrow hairs, because then I could just use this. I'm gonna show you guys this because it's one of my favorite products for brows. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, and this one's actually too light for me. Um, I just got a new one, but I don't know where it is right now. This, you just freaking paint this on like so, and if you have a, a bit more eyebrow hair than me, then that's gonna work out great. Um, but if you don't, you're just gonna have to lightly draw these bad boys in like I have to. And this, oh yeah, this is the pure four in one dual ended brow pencil. I have been using this religiously. I love that it's got the bigger side over here. So where's a mirror? I need to see my face closer up than this if I'm gonna get these brows right. So yeah, um, for simple makeup, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide what you're comfortable with, but I am definitely feeling my best when I have my brows on point. So typically if I'm doing a little more simple makeup, I will keep them a little more natural, but it just kind of depends how I'm feeling. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into this collection. Okay, so the collection comes with these are the skincare that I'm not really gonna touch on. I just, why? I mean, at least they're glass, but I just, I'm not interested. Uh, Photo Focus Tonic, um, Photo Focus Rose Primer Serum, and then kind of somewhat in the skincare area, we've got a lip scrub. Um, the lip scrub is $3.99, and I just would rather use sugar and honey, so eh. But um, if you want the full collection, if you spend $59.99, you can get the full collection. But I usually don't want like an entire collection, like I said, like some things brands do well, some some they just, you know, haven't mastered yet. So I would just pick and choose what, what you want, unless you wanna like collect the collection, cause that's like what it's, what's it? That's what it's for. So then we've got four eyeshadow quads. These actually look really pretty. Um, I, I think that these look cool. This is the House of Thorns one right here. And these are $4.99 each. So they are really affordable. This is the one I'm gonna be using today. This is Bed of Roses. So it's a quad. Um, you get four different eyeshadows. Let's see here. Um, and then we've got Secret Garden Rendezvous. Now the only thing that I see an issue with with all of these if you buy the collection is a lot of like 
pinkish rose red maroon shades going on in each of these. So I feel like you could just probably pick like, I would I would go for this one right here because it's got this cool green shade in it and then, then this one because it's got this shade. But this one, I, I don't know, I think this is a little lackluster for me. Yeah, not super into that one. Let's see, they also made a PH Reactive Cream Blush. Now I did, and it's black, it, this is called uh, Rose in Peace. So it is a cream blush and supposedly this turns into this right here. That was not the case when I swatched this on my hand. It really didn't do anything at all. So I guess we're gonna find out today. I'm also super interested to see how this works. Um, typically, I would have put this under my powder, but <laughs> I forgot. So, uh, but nonetheless, it's got um, oils in it. What did I write down here? It's got butters and oils in it, and it's supposedly supposed to blend into your skin seamlessly, but I think that sounds weird because typically when something is made with oils and butters, it just removes my makeup. So this might be better for somebody who is just wanting to add a little bit of color to their cheeks. If it adds color, we'll see, um, because I also don't know how it works if you're putting it on top of foundation. Is it still getting, is it still gonna react with the pH? I don't know, let's, let's try this first though. Let's just put it on my hand. So I'm gonna just get in here real good. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, that was quick. It's the lightest, like, I mean, it's there, I guess. It didn't do that the other day. I swear there was like nothing on my finger or my hand, but there's a little bit there, we'll see. I'm gonna apply that with a brush, um, which brings me to the brushes that they have in here. I think it's kind of odd that they only made two. Uh, <clears throat> you can't really do a full eyeshadow look with this and you can't really do much with this other than powder your face, and maybe put on blush. It's kind of big for a blush brush. I think these are more um, collector's items. You can get the brush set of two of these for $12.99 or you will be paying $7.99 a piece. This one is very weird to me because I don't know, I can't really see the edge of the brush over here, like over this thing, like from my perspective, if that makes sense. So when you're trying to do that, I, I don't know. And I feel like this would also, I need more of the brush than that. Can you come out a little further? Then there is a pH reactive lip balm. This is called Jelly Balm. So this looks like this, and it's kind of like a sheer dark black tinted um, jelly lip Mm, balm. So I'm gonna put this on right now. Supposedly it reacts um, to the pH levels in your skin and it gives you a sheer pink tint. So let's try this out. Whoa, that was quick. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit on. That's a shade of pink I would never wear. <clears throat> Won't be putting that on again. But if this is a shade that you like, that works pretty good. Uh, it feels like a very thin, cheap lip balm. Um, it doesn't really feel like hydrating and moisturizing. It feels like it kind of already disappeared into my lips. Uh, just really thin, do you know what I mean? Like my, it, it's not like a, a balm, like I wouldn't call it a balm. We have four shades of the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Mega Last Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's interesting because these are very similar. I mean, they're not suit, they're not twins, but they're definitely similar enough to probably just do one and do a different color entirely. And then we, so let me see here. Let me read off the shades to you. Um, so this one is Bud Romance, and it's kind of more of a purple um, lilac-y mauve. And then we've got Petal Poison, which I'm gonna be using today, which is more of like a mauve pink. And then we have two darker shades. This one is a deep purple. Um, this is called Deviant Damsel. I like this shade a lot, this looks pretty. And this one looks awesome. It's like a really deep, like rich, like brick red brown kind of shade. It is called Kiss of Death. That's so fitting. I forgot to take the thing off this one. Sorry, I'm a professional, I swear. So let's go ahead and start with this brush with their blush. Now, another thing too is like, I don't feel like this lip balm shade or this blush shade go with any of these eyeshadow palettes. I would prefer more of like, um, less pink, like more along the like brownish 
pink or like a nude pink rather than like a bright pink. Like this is like my hair color. I'm not, I'm not here for it. So I'm just going to take this guy. So I'm gonna get some of the product on there. Um, ugh, I'm so scared to do this. <gasps> We're just, oh God. Oh, oh, where's a mirror? Help, help, I need a mirror. Oh my. I don't hate this brush. This brush is like cooler than I thought it was gonna be. It's really, really, really soft. Um, this blush is like doing so much better than I expected. I just expected it to just remove all of my makeup and it's removed a little bit of it. I would definitely put this on, like if you wanna go to the gym and minimize like how much make makeup you're wearing but you still don't wanna look like a corpse, um, this would be a good one to use. There's even a slight bit of shimmer in this as well. Um, once again, I think this is way too pink for the, the, the eyeshadow tones. I don't think it really works well with those. Um, this would look beautiful on someone with darker skin as well. It kind of is just pink on people with light skin like myself. Um, so yeah, I would put this on under uh, the powder if you're gonna do that but um, it's a little pink. Now I'm gonna skip contour today because I, uh, this is a simple makeup look and with, with a simple makeup look, I don't really put contour on. So we're going to skip that. And um, I am not going to skip highlight though. Let's go ahead and put some highlight on. That's, that's one thing I don't skip. Even when I'm doing simple makeup, you still need a little bit of glow so you don't look dead. I'm gonna go pull, uh, go ahead and pull one of my Wet n' Wild, my favorite Wet n' Wild um, highlighters. This is Precious Petals. This one's just really, really a pretty tone. And I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. I'm gonna take a Sigma Extreme Structure contour brush and not use it for contour because I am a rebel. Um, I'm just going to dab, dab, dab this into place. And I typically put my highlight on after, I'm sorry, before my blush, but today, since that's cream, I would say that's like more like a stain. Like it wasn't really like creamy. Um, it was more like a stain, which I, I like. I enjoy that. I just want that blush in a few different shades too. Like, can I just have one that's less pink, please? These lips, I can't handle the lip color. Like there's just like, in what world does this lipstick look good with these dark purple-y shades? Like I just, I don't know why we have pink lips. Okay, let's, uh, now we're gonna do some eyeshadow with the Bed of Roses palette. And of course I didn't open it first cause <laughs> I need like little kid scissors, okay? Like the plastic ones that they used to give you in school that didn't even hardly cut construction paper. Six hours later. Let me in if you know it's good for you. Ah! <laughs> I hate you so much. Decline the call or to accept dial five now. If you wish to block- My brother is in prison and so when he calls me, I answer it. So excuse me for the interruption. Okay, so let's get into this. I really like the packaging. That's super cute. It's got like the lace on here and matte. Um, okay, I'm gonna swatch these. Let's go ahead and swatch these bad boys um, so you can kind of see what they look like. They don't always apply to the eye the same way, but they look pretty good on there. Ooh. I'm pretty impressed with that actually. Um, the purple doesn't look so hot, but like I said, they don't always, you know, apply to the eye the same way that they swatch. So with that being said, we're gonna use this little brush here. It's kind of hard to hold too, cause it's so thin. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the purple. Can you guys see that? The purple right here. And I'm gonna dip into that a little bit. Um, it's very pigmented on the brush. I don't know if you can see how much that picked up. I'm gonna dab some of that off cause I don't want a super dark look. Okay, this brush is like, these little things are like hitting my eye. Okay. Okay, this is not gonna work. That, that is just for looks I think, folks. Um, I've been saying folks like nonstop today. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with that payout. Look at that. It's blending out pretty well. And that was even after I wiped some of the color off like onto this towel. 
Then I'm gonna take a little brush and we're gonna go in with this pretty sparkly shade right here. And just going to apply that on the lid. I'm gonna try it with my finger because that was a little lackluster. I kind of have fallout all over too, okay. That applies a bit better with your finger. I'm gonna try a little bit of eyeshadow primer with this because I feel like it's kind of like more of a looser, glittery kind of look that um, requires a little bit of help. This is the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer, so I just added a little bit to see what we get. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Ooh, that eyeshadow got a little splotchy on me. Let me see if I can fix that a little bit. It's kind of sticking to like some areas in there that I didn't even notice. I want to say that could definitely just be my eye right now though, because at first it looked totally fine. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this guy right here, and I'm just going to work this into the outer edge of my lash line to give it a little bit of dimension. So I dar darken up the crease a tiny bit and then I put on uh, Oh Honey Lashes in Be Elegant. Um, oh wait, actually, that was just sitting on my desk. I don't know if that's the actual ones. Uh, I'll check. I'll put it in the description box if I know. Um, I'm taking the Flower Beauty Mascara and just adding a bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I always like to do this when my eyes aren't super, super done up. I feel like it's just feminine and pretty. And this mascara does not transfer at all. So I love this stuff. You can get this like at any drugstore. It's the Intensive Eye Volumizing Mascara with the three-way brush. It's in the white container. Don't look down. Last but not least, going in with the Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. I'm gonna take the Bite Beauty uh, lip liner in 014. This bad boy needs to be sharpened. Now, I don't know how pigmented this stuff is, so let's go ahead and give it a jab. Um, this one is Petal Poison. This is kind of the more pinky mauve that I'm gonna go in with, and this is high shine, so it's kind of like a lip gloss, basically. I like the little applicator, it's like a little doe foot. Feels like peppermint on my lips. Clean up on aisle Kristen's mustache. One last little step that I like to do with more simple makeup is it adds a little element that makes you look more awake and awake. Yes, it is just like a skin toned or a white. I like to go more skin toned. It's less um, like doll like and more kind of more natural bright eyes like. So um, this one is, you can grab any kind of like nude eyeliner that's meant for this. This is Fake Awake by Tarte. And I usually like to put this on before I go in with my mascara on the lower lash line, but I forgot. So if you can see the difference between the two eyes, it just kind of looks more awake and more um, bright and it makes your eyes look bigger as well. So if you have small eyes, this is a nice little trick. So here's my super simple, somewhat quick look. Um, it took a little longer with my phone call, but um, thoughts on this collection? I feel like we could have made the collection smaller and a little bit more diverse and that would have been fine. I think that um, some dif more differentiation in the shade range and the palettes would have been cool. The, the palettes, um, this eyeshadow did not blow me away, but it's $4.99. So you really have to take that into consideration when it comes to packaging, product, all that. So $4.99 is not a bad price for how this performed. I would use it again. I don't think that it was terrible. Um, but I also don't think it was amazing. So, so yeah, the eyeshadow did pretty good. Um, the blush was cool. I just wish that it wasn't so pink. Um, this is not 
I just don't think pink looks great with these shades uh, for my skin tone. And I also don't really love that there are two of this, like the lipsticks, could there could have been more of a variation. I feel like it would have been really nice if there was like a nude in there and then um, maybe like a pink and then a deep purple and then the brown that they have. But like, there's really no option for like a lighter lip, which I mean, I guess that's the vibe of the collection. It's a little more dark and mysterious. So that's fine. But um, I'm a little bit outside of my comfort zone with like darker lipsticks and pinks usually. So just saying. Um, what else? Uh, I already talked about skincare in the video, so I'm not gonna go into that again. I just, we, we know my, we know my thoughts. I did not like the jelly balm. I don't think it was moisturizing or hydrating at all. Um, I did not like the bright pink shade that it made my lips. Does not go with any of the eyeshadow colors in this palette at all. Um, it just disappeared off of my lips. Like, I feel like it like evaporated off my lips like the moment it hit them. Um, and I do like these. I think that these are nice. Obviously you have to wear them for a bit of time, but I like that they're not so goopy and sticky. They're more of like, like it says, like a glossy lipstick. What, no, that's not what it says, bitch. You're putting words in their mouth. High shine lipstick. So it's not super thick and you know, whatever, but it's still it's still pigmented enough to be like a lipstick. So those are my thoughts on this palette, or palette, I mean collection. What did you guys think of this collection? Like first thoughts, like I'm sure you've already left them in the comments below while we were going through this video, but let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to check out the Dermalogica products that I chatted about in this video if you suffer from dry skin or red skin. I got you covered. Everything is linked in the description box below for your pleasure. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. The other in chunks. Wait. Skiing or snowboarding? Wow, it's really coming down out here. Oh. <laughs> I love winter sports, don't you? You can have an old fashioned snowball fight. Your aim sucks. <laughs> I'm also really talented at snowball fights. <laughs> okay. Okay! Yeah, you did. I'm such a fucking idiot.